Hello! So today we are going to draw a dragon boat. And these are from the Dragon Boat Festivals in China. So I want to read you one page out of this story where a little girl named Little May and her grandma are talking. What is happening today? Is this a special day, Granny? Yes, Little May. Today is the fifth day of the fifth month in the lunar year. So this is usually in the summertime because the lunar year usually starts in January or early February. We call it the Dragon Boat Festival. On the door, we hang traditional herbs. So herbs are plants that are usually aromatic, meaning they smell good like basil and cilantro and mint. And people use them in cooking or in teas. And we carry a scented pouch on our bodies to ward off evil spirits. So this is telling a little bit about the what they do on the day of the Dragon Boat Festival. And here I love these illustrations. So we're going to use that as a as a guide. I also have a page out of this book and this is called A for Asia by Cynthia Chin Lee, illustrated by Yumi Hiao. And when we open up to the letter D, what do we find? Dragon boats. So listen to this. D is for dragon boats sweeping the water. On the River Yu in China and other places in East Asia, dragon boats decorated in the colors of the five elements, red for fire, yellow for earth, azure for wood, white for metal, and black for water. Race to the finish. Drums drumming, banners waving, people cheer their favorite team. And you can even see on the bottom here how they have the characters, how they write dragon boats in Chinese. Isn't that cool? So look at this beautiful illustration. I love how these have flags on them. So we're gonna use both of these as examples. So for the first um, dragon boat, I am going to start with a smaller sheet of paper, a smaller sheet of paper. And I'm gonna do one that's also bigger. Let me get those right there. And I'm gonna turn my page so it is horizontal, not vertical, horizontal, because I'm just gonna do one boat on this page. On my other paper, I'm gonna do a scene, kind of like this image that has a few. But this one I'm gonna start, and I'm actually, I've got some other images that I'm looking at. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna have the dragon looking that way on this page. And I'm starting with Sharpie so that you can see, but of course, please start in pencil, so if you have any mistakes, you can erase them. All right, so I'm thinking about dragons and I'm loving I have a lot of books having to do with um, Chinese near look at this dragon whoa isn't that cool if I open this up I bet I can find oh look at him right there I might use this as a guide as well because that's pretty cool isn't it so I'm gonna put this over here to the side so on my page I'm gonna have my dragon head about this big and then the boat filling up the page like this so let me look at this. I'm gonna look at some of my different dragons. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my dragon head, like I said, it's gonna be about this big. And this is just gonna be an empty boat. So I'm gonna start off here. And I'm gonna do a little line that goes across and then up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go here for the mouth. This is the bottom of the mouth. I'm just gonna go up a little bit and then I'm gonna make the inside of the mouth. Now my Dragon boats here, they're looking down, so we can do that later. This one is going to have an open mouth. So I'm going to go in, and I'm actually going to go a little bit bigger than the picture I'm looking at, and out. So there's my mouth. And then I'm going to go up and curve around for the nose and stop there. It's almost looking like maybe a little alligator mouth. Now the head, it's going to go up and over. So I'm going to come up and go over. Now here, this part you can add kind of different zigzag lines maybe. You can add them as one piece or multiple pieces. So I'm gonna do one piece. I'm gonna go out and look, it looks like a letter M, doesn't it? But I'm gonna add one more. Oh, I'm gonna add another one, boop. So there's kind of one part of the dragon. Can I add another layer, like add some other pieces? Look, those are just letter Vs. Of course I can, I'm gonna add an extra one right there. Okay, for the eye, for me, and I'm looking at my little dragon here, I'm gonna do circles like this. So I'm gonna do um, a big circle, and then I'm gonna do these little rows. I kinda like how this has the little stripes above there, so I'm gonna using stripes. So I want you to notice I'm taking parts 
of different dragons that I like. His mouth doesn't look very fierce right now, right? I want him to be kind of fierce. I'm gonna add some little zigzag lines for teeth in there. Okay, and I'm gonna add a circle for a nostril. And I'm also gonna add, since they have these little pieces coming, I'm gonna add a little piece coming down. Maybe it'll swirl. Okay, do you have to add that? No, you could have left it. Um, I can also add, maybe I'll just add some little ovals here as decoration. So there's the head. This is just an example. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit of down there. Yeah, I like that. Maybe one more up here. Pew, I like it. This is just an example. You can do it different ways. I'll show you a different way on my other one if you wanna try a different way. For the boat, I'm basically gonna go down and over and up. Now, if I were gonna do, um, I'm gonna do some paddles in front of it. You don't have to do, actually I'll do paddles on the other one. So this one you can just leave. If you wanted to draw paddles, I would draw those first in pencil. So I'm gonna start from here. I'm gonna go down, over, 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 and then up, okay? And here, I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go down, over, 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 I'm gonna go up. Now I didn't touch there because I'm actually gonna do a little, a fun tail. This is cool how the tail kind of curls. You could do something like that. You could do a big triangle. I'm actually gonna do uh, where it looks like a flame. And I just do kind of like as I go up and I go down, up and down. I'm just making a wavy line going up and down, up and down, up and down. And I can even add another one in there. So there's a little flame tail. I think the neck looks a little too thin. So I'm gonna add in another row and that could be just a solid color, and then maybe here I'm gonna add some, some scales. So I'm gonna make a little belly, going down like this. And then for my scale, so on this one, they've made, don't they look like little letter Gs? They just don't connect. Here, this has got sort of some big scales with little ones in them. You can go as fancy as you want here, if you notice. They're really just letter U's kind of piled up next to each other. So I'm gonna do letter U's, watch what I do. I just go U and U. I'm gonna put another one right up there. Then when you do the next row, you just start at the top and you make the U connecting those two and then this one will go off the edge. One way I find this easier is I flip it over and I pretend that I'm jumping. Jump, jump, jump. And I'm just jumping to the top, almost like I'm leaping to different rocks. And these ones I have to turn a little bit. And you know what, if you get some scales that end up way bigger than others, that's okay. Just jump, 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 jump. And if you wanna, if you think, oh, I'm gonna color these in, you could actually go bigger. Maybe I'll go way bigger on these. And that'll make it easier for me to color in. And you do whatever colors. Now I'm thinking if this was on blue water, you know, a blue, a blue boat would be cool, but what if I do it all with the fiery colors, kind of what you're seeing in all these dragons? So I would continue my scales, and if you wanted to add people in there, if you wanted to add a flag, I'm gonna keep this really simple, and I'm gonna put my boat on a wavy, but then I want some fancy water. So I'm gonna go up, and then come right back like I'm making a snail shell. Boop, go up, making a snail shell. Is that the only way you can make a wave? No, you could do you could just do rows of wavy lines. That would be pretty cool. I could put like the moon in the sky. What if I um, or the sun? I could make clouds. I could do the shore, so I could have a line back here and has little buildings on there. There could be fireworks going off. Now this is not since this is in the summer. It's not near like Lunar New Year, but it is a celebration. So. Hmm. Okay, let me grab my big paper real quick and just show you. Now, if this is the one you really like and you're moving on with how you've done this, you can go for it and stop and color. This is going to show you, I'm going to put this to the right so we can see everything. Okay, so this one I'm going to add on. I might go a little bit quicker and I'm going to have the three boats like this. And why do they get smaller? Why are they smaller boats? Why do they look smaller? Because they're further away, right? This is the big boat in the front. So on this one, I'm gonna do the head as well here, but this time I'm gonna have the head kind of facing down like on here. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with a U shape. Now you could do the circle eyes, you could get fancy and do eyes like this. If you want to do that, you could do a line going out. Oh, I might do some big eyebrows. 
So, and you can certainly, if you are um, able to, you could look up, you know, dragon designs or Chinese New Year dragons and you'll get lots of different things. Oh, he looks like he has a mustache. Uh, he's very fancy. I'm gonna add some, actually, I'm gonna add a little M there for the nose. Okay, and I think I might even add some bouncy lines. I'm thinking about masks too, that, you know, this doesn't have to look, um, this can look like it has a ma like mask lines and shapes on it. I'm gonna do some little lines. I'm gonna add some teeth, cause why not? So now, oh, I'm gonna add some more of these little designs on the side. And you could do little ones on the inside and make them, you know, make them look a little bit fancier. You could do circles. Okay, so there's my head. For this boat, I'm gonna curl then, go over, 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 and then I'm gonna do the end like they do. And this time when they curve it, they just curve and stop. And then you just start over here and you're making your big wide boat. How fun is that? So if I was gonna do other ones, those would be like here. So there's one, and then I could do a different kind of head. You know, I could add, let's see what I wanna do here. Hmm. Might do a zigzag line. This one, I might have the mouth open. Maybe each team who did this got to, to decorate their own boat. And so that's, these are all gonna be different, which I think is fun, right? Okay, pew, pew. Okay, there's that one. And then I could have my smaller one in the background because they're all like in a race, right? So they'd all be kind of in a row. And then maybe this one is gonna have a different tail on it. And I could do, I could do a simpler, simpler one on there. He looks a little bit nervous and yet he seems like he's in first place. Okay, so then I could go on, you could add people. If you look at these people here, they really started with circles and then went down, down, circle, down, down, circle, down, down. And what if on here you drew each person to be people in your family or your friends? So each person on here could have, let's see, let's make, let's make a little short hair here. Maybe we've got some pigtails, maybe short curly hair. Maybe this person's got some braids. Okay, so you could draw little people there and then look how they did the paddles. They really just did lines coming out and then the end of the lines, they have rectangles. And you know what, another thing, I love the flag on here. So I might put a flag behind here and add my little flag, Pooh. So you could definitely do all these things and they added spikes to this. How fun is that? Just letter V's, right? What if you put your team on here? Or a team name you could make up. Okay, so I'm gonna go in, I can add my scales. For this one, I'm just gonna do letter U's and kind of separate them. You could do the fancy little G's. You could do your scales a different way. You could add, look at the fish in the water. What I love about the fish in the water is it's balancing out all these little yellows and oranges. So the, you have these little speckles of oranges and yellows and reds throughout the whole page. And then your black kind of balancing out. You've got your Chinese characters on here. So however way you want to do it, create your dragon boat, your dragon boats, and it could be a scene or just one single dragon boat. Good luck.